Guys, lots of exciting action in cryptos and in equities. We had one heck of a bounce. I've been posting updates on the cryptos as a sector on the whole, but pretty much all the cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the altcoins are following the same kinds of patterns. And even equities look the same way, the stock market. So in Dash specifically, we got five waves up a couple of days ago. We had our three-wave pullback for what I was calling a wave two. And well, we blasted off. And it's pretty convincing that we may already be in a in our bigger third wave. Not totally sure. We got a few alternate patterns here. This could be a nested one, two. Although it, to my eyes, it looks like a little, it's extended a little too high to be that. So there's also a chance that that's the actual top of the first wave, the larger first wave. So that would mean that this is actually a third, a fourth, and a fifth. And we have a bit deeper to go. <clears throat> if it's the if it's following the blue pattern, which I'm looking at as the primary at the moment in the small term picture, uh, we're pretty close to my secondary buy box. If you guys bought way down here in the original buy zone, well done. Give yourselves a pat on the back because even I didn't pull that off. I uh, overanalyzed and I got caught up in analyzing the uh, equities market. So I got my first tranche in. I do plan to buy my balance down here in the second tranche. However, if we fall through this box, we're probably just going to fall back down into this box, into this region, uh, around $85, maybe even a little lower than that. That'll just be a bigger wave too. Not really a thing to fret about. <clears throat> now, what about alternate patterns? There is a chance that this is an A, B, C, and uh, other cryptos. We didn't extend as high in this latest leg of the rally. In Dash, we did. This looks a lot more like what you see in Bitcoin, Ethereum. So there's a chance of A, B, C, and maybe we get that lower low after all. It's not. It's not totally invalidated. There's a chance. Uh, I don't see it as a huge probability right now. But your first warning sign would be that we fall below the level of, of this box here, the lower box. So that's the short-term picture in Dash. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And uh, well, we have a pretty complete looking pullback here. So that's definitely a good thing in my opinion. Uh, a, B, C probably, or you can interpret this as a one, two, three, four, five. Uh, or if that's a fourth wave bounce, I'm zoom out even more. So Dash is one of the most exciting cryptos based on my <coughs> EW patterns. Uh, I've have this actually ranked at the top of my risk reward scores because it's got so much history that's relatively safe. We have a very robust pattern in place and it's got a lot of upside, a lot of confluences, all those things. I'm not going to dig into those in too much detail here. Really, I'm trying to cover the buying opportunities and you can see how it looks like a pretty complete pattern. I'm going to zoom up a little bit more and we got our A wave down off our May 2021 high. B wave bounce and this looks like a very complete five wave, very full pattern. We got the lower low. And when I pull up the MACDs, scoot this thing over a little bit, we got some semblance of some divergences here. You can see how we're not as oversold on this latest spike down. So lots of bottoming signs. We've gone down low enough. And uh, what is that, a 61.8% retrace? So by the book, everything looks very clean with this pullback. Now, if we do go a bit lower, I've got this purple pattern here, kind of a alternate, I guess, a third alternate. So if we do that, Maybe we get down to sixty-one dollars, but I would not bet on it. I say I see that as a, maybe a 10, 10 to fifteen percent probability right now. I am leaning red. Red says that we are done, and we're going to project into this box for a bigger first wave. So we've had a pretty impressive rally so far. Uh, we're up to what over a hundred dollars briefly. We're pulling back now. Our larger subway one should get all the way up to anywhere from two hundred eleven dollars to three ninety-three. So that is a long way up from here. You get two x minimum just with the bigger subway one doesn't mean you should get FOMO. There's going to be plenty of opportunities to buy before we get to that point. So start from this bottom, you'd expect to see a five wave rally, something like this. So uh, maybe something like that, slow fourth wave, if it goes up there, lower. So if you are a bit more conservative, a bit more risk averse, or maybe you don't just don't have the cash to put into something right now, in the dash or any of the other altcoins, you can wait for this larger wave one to develop and you could buy on the wave two pullback. So it's still pretty safe to buy lump sums as we go, because even if we fall to that lower low, there's not much room below us. Um, and well, things there's a lot more upside right now. I'd say it would be safe to keep buying. And uh, of course, that would be the top of wave one. You could buy on this later wave two dip as well. As you go higher, it gets more risky to buy lump sums. Uh, so it's probably better to go to dollar cost average. Once we achieve, approach the uh, subway three top, that's when the risk reward starts to shift. We should start thinking more about taking profits and less about buying. But we got some, we got a ways to go before we get that point. So it's not too late if you haven't bought yet. If you bought, 
good job. Congratulations. I'm going to be putting out plenty more updates that go more in the detail of what we're projecting up uh, to the upside. But I'm doing my buying as we speak. Got some more trenches to fill up. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my updates. And give me a like if you enjoy my video. Till next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.